Flow, it's me, and today I will be doing a review on the... I don't know exactly what's called these, the eight... These are two inch Godzilla figures that I found on eBay. A set of eight different ones with 1954, 1962, 1967. I think this is just like a random, just generic Heisei from like 91 to 94. Burning Godzilla 1995, Godzilla 2014, Female Muto 2014, and Godzilla with his atomic breath from Godzilla 2014. So, I randomly just found these on eBay just because they're quite nice little things to have on your shelf. I'm probably going to be painting all of these. There's not a single one of these that I'm not going to do some sort of repaint or custom to but yeah I just got these because I thought they look quite nice and the models aren't actually that bad so I'll start with I'll just move all these out of the way the original Godzilla 1954 so this is actually I actually um the sculpt it's not really I'm pretty sure these are like 3d printed if I can get it to focus yeah, I think these were 3D printed, because the details are quite incredible for this scale. It's very well done. It's got all the little sort of baggy bits for to make it look more like the suit. Tail's a little bit short, but that's not that bad. The feet do have some annoying, really horrible seam lines. It looks like the toes were copied on top of them, on top of each other, which looks quite weird. It's got all the dorsal plates. They're actually accurate. If I get the NECA 1954, you can see the dorsal plates are actually... It's got the big one there. Hasn't got that one. Then it's got the big main one, that one, and the little one there, then the three-spike one. Which, I, which is actually quite nice. They didn't just do random sort of spikes all over his back. They actually made it look like the film. And then it's got a transparent beam which looks very nice they've done that perfectly it would be nice if they had like a more of a flame effect but it doesn't look that bad for like one quid no articulation at all it's slightly sort of bendy but yeah the paint's quite crap this should be black and white but it isn't that bad plain white eyes nothing really it's got grey dorsal plates and then for some reason yellow toenails <laughs> The 1962 from King Kong vs. Godzilla is done in a very dark black. It's got a bit of a weird sort of top jaw. That looks very strange. I've only just really noticed that. It looks, gosh, that does, it looks like they've sort of cut it upwards, which looks very strange. But from like that angle, it actually looks really nice. The dorsal plates are sort of airbrush-ished with like a light browny yellowy colour which looks quite nice. The eyes are a yellow with a dot in. This one actually has a pupil. Most of these don't, as you can see. Which I quite like that this one has an eye. This is probably my favourite one just because it's in a really nice pose from the film. The detail along it's really nice, a bit missing there, which looks quite strange, it's very smooth. The arms are done really nicely, again, no articulation. Paint, terrible. I mean, at least they got it in, but like they didn't do any on the top jaw or like the teeth. But these are very, very nice figures. Then I've got the 1967, I think from Son of Godzilla, I think. Yeah, I think this is him. Dorsal plates on this one aren't very good. They're just sort of 2D. They didn't have any like texturing like this one. You can see this is much more flat and dull compared to this one. But this one, I think the colours are actually accurate on this one. They're very nice. The mouth is quite strange with what we, what they did. They didn't actually make it all the way through like with the others. It, they just sort of left it there. The paints, again, it's one quid, so they're all going to be quite bad. 
But this one's actually another really nice one, and like a nice sort of walking pose. The tail, it's got, it's very flat underneath, then it's got some nice sort of scales all over it. These sort of blend into each other, which doesn't, which actually looks quite nice. Again, it's got all like the flaps and stuff. The sculpt on the head's very good. They got the sort of goofiness from the film with like the big bulging out eyes, which looks quite nice. The hands are quite strange, as you can see. Quite odd shapes, but that isn't that bad. Because these would be like high up on a shelf, you won't see them really that close. Then I've got the sort of just generic Heisei Godzilla, which I think is probably my least favourite, just because like the head, that's not a Heisei Godzilla. It looks more like sort of... I don't know how to describe that. It looks a weird, sort of like a bird has got the sort of hooky bit there. But with these, the only paint, they put it on the bottom. They'd never do, like, the roof of the mouth. This one is another one which has pupils, which is nice. I'm not a big fan of the pose either. The sort of, I don't know if it's, like, getting ready to, like, smack something. Or if he's, like, or if he's, like, pushing something with this hand. It's quite a confusing pose. Dorsal plates are painted nicely. They're, again, not very accurate to the film. This one, they shouldn't be curved. Grabbing the this guy, which I'll talk about at the end. This is a custom, easy, fun set Godzilla, who's actually quite big. But you can see the dorsal plates. They shouldn't be bent over. They should be like that. But it's quite nice to have a little Heisei one. Then you've got the... Burning Godzilla 1995, or sort of, it looks like a soon-to-be Burning Godzilla 1995. You can see, getting this one again, he doesn't have any of the burning patches at all. Got the red eyes, and the dorsal plates are sort of a yellowish colour, but they haven't got any of the sort of burning marks at all, unfortunately. Again, on the bottom jaw, it's just painted there. The eye on this one's quite funny. It's sort of gone over the top of the head onto the sort of eyebrow thing, which looks quite funny. The head sculpt isn't that bad, but it is still quite bad. But it's, I'd say it's better than that one for Heisei. But again, none of these have articulation. The tail's very nice on this one. It's very long. Shouldn't really be that long. It should be about to there instead of all the way up there. It is unfortunate how they didn't even bother. Like, they could have just done, like, even a crappy sort of splodge there, just of, like, yellow or something would have looked nicer than just keeping it black. But, like I said, I'm going to paint these, so I'll paint them on like this guy. Now, on to the 2014 Godzillas. This one... Everything about this is absolutely amazing. All the details, beautiful dorsal plates on. Yeah, they're not very good. It's a bit like the 2014 Necker. All down the tail, it's really nice plating. Beautiful scales underneath. Every, all the proportions are right. And then you get this. It's so, it looks a bit like Fish Godzilla, if I'm honest. He's got this sort of big underbite with like this is too short and it's sort of rounded off it does look like yeah i think that's what i'm calling this one fish godzilla you can see why just because of the goofy face and they did his eyes yellow i mean not yeah go they did his eyes pink which is really weird because he has yellow eyes for some reason they did him with pink eye which looks very strange. I don't know why on earth they did that. But at least it has a pupil. But then, like I said, all this detail on it, it's amazing. Got all the sort of the six pack. It's got all the nice. It's got even the big scale there. It's got its gills. Really nice figure. And it's in quite a nice sort of warring pose. Then. You've got the other Godzilla 2014, 
which is exactly the same. That bit's a bit smooth there. But then it's got all the exact same beautiful detail, different pose. And then the head on this one looks really, really quite weird. It's got a big annoying bubble there. The beam's actually done really nicely. Another translucent plastic, which looks really nice. But then the head, the jaw's massive. It looks a bit like, a bit Shin Godzilla-ish. Like when he goes, when he shoots down like that. It's very, very peculiar. But it, it doesn't look that bad. What I'm going to do, I'm going to paint this with the glass paint. So it will still be translucent, but it will be blue. Unfortunately, they didn't even do anything on the dorsal plates for the Atomic Breath. Grabbing another Easy Fun set, Godzilla. These were done in a blue. And you can see he's got yellow eyes, this one. They gave him red eyes in this one. Which, the only other thing they could have done better with this, even just do a crappy spray on the back blue and blue eyes, even without a pupil, would have been better than that. It looks a bit like a shark, actually. And then finally, this is probably my favourite one, the female Muto, which is done really nicely. All the proportions are perfect. Unfortunately, they did these white, sort of a, not white, sort of a light grey colour. I think what they might be doing here is like in the film, you see like these big white lines down them because of like some of the um, spotlights they're shining at them. But for some reason, they just went fully just white which is quite strange so i'll just paint these all completely black it's got a big thing on the back there which they, they sort of forgot to cut off unfortunately but then it's got sort of gill not gill like a flap at the back where that lifts up which looks nice got some nice sort of muscle structure at the back then it's got the egg sac thing just there which i'm going to paint orange and then all the hooks are really nice, no bubbles in it or anything. The head's actually really nice. Unfortunately, that eye's been <laughs> printed on top of the head accidentally, and that's a bit bent. But that one's done perfectly, that's just a bit annoying on that one. But this, all the sculpt on this one's really, really nice. This is the one that I was most looking forward to. Sort of besides... I think this one, but then I was a bit disappointed with his head. But now that I've gone over all the figures, I'll just put these in random order. I'll do a size comparison. The only things I have that are sort of in scale-ish with these guys are, like I said, the, the easy fun set, which are... Quite big. These are all two inches tall around. So this is the Easy Fun Set of 10 Godzilla's Godzilla 2014. Then I've got my custom Burning Godzilla from the Easy Fun Set. As you can see, he's much, much bigger compared to the actual Burning Godzilla. Then I've got another very small Kaiju. I've got all four of them, but I only picked what took one. The... I think it's like the Bandai, I think they're Bandai, Shin Godzilla second form, like, cup things. Like, you have this one hanging on, hanging on a cup, one goes on your finger, one, likes climbing over a pencil. I've done a review on these, you can go check that out after this. But this is another really small one, which actually scales quite nicely with these. He looks quite good, like, just popping out. Then I've got the NECA Godzilla 1954, which is absolutely massive compared to them. So you could do what I might do. I've actually done it already in the Godzilla um, preschool stop motion, where I have him like opening a box and playing with little Godzilla figures. I'm um, playing with these, but I think these are actually better scale. So I, I might do another one, but... I might not. And then finally, since these are my smallest figures, I thought I'd get them next to my biggest Godzilla figure. The giant NECA Godzilla 2014. 
which absolutely they're dwarfed by him which I quite like having these next to him so him in the background then just having all these beneath him but there that about does it for this review I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one